In my last video, I showed you how to do uh, just the basic setup uh, with EasyDoc, uh, kind of following along in the documentation, uh, just to get you started. Uh, in this video, I thought I would uh, take it to, to the next level here, uh, so to speak, and, and start working with the actual camera views and, and joystick assignments and this and that. So, uh, as a quick review, uh, we've already uh, done a little bit of setting up here. Uh, we uh, made sure that uh, the default uh, settings are properly configured and we brought back in these uh, keystroke assignments that we took out of uh, Flight Simulator itself. Uh, the only uh, other new thing you see here is I have assigned a, a joystick button to the uh, the next camera uh, function uh, uh, within EasyDoc. So when I create camera views uh, in uh, EasyDoc, uh, this is the button that will actually uh, cycle me through uh, to the next camera. So having done that, uh, I'll go back and show you that I've configured my joysticks by just selecting them in the drop-down list. I've got two joysticks that I use, so um, I've just selected each of them. Um, over here, there's a feature. It's called Joystick Button for Inverse. Um, I've just selected my little trigger button uh, for that feature, and I'll get back to that in, in just a second. Uh, but uh, that's uh, just what's uh, selected here. Uh, that's just my system here, and, uh, and I'll show you why I have it set up like that. And, of course, you can choose whatever button you want uh, for this feature if, if you choose to use it. Um, but back here, uh, you'll see that there's a list of uh, uh, cameras already uh, uh, set up for us. Now this is the default uh, mall aircraft and uh, uh, these are all the default views that uh, show up. I haven't created any of these. these this is just what EasyDoc has set up for us uh, when we first install the program. Uh, and you'll see that uh, by clicking on these uh, different camera uh, views it just uh, cycles us through the cockpit as you would expect. Uh, now everything uh, works uh, the way it should although uh, the actual view isn't uh, maybe what you actually want it to be. Um, I don't know if you want to fly around at this particular zoom or at this precise angle. So uh, what we want to do now is is figure out how we can actually change the uh, the camera views. Uh, same thing goes for the, uh, the outside views. You can see that by default uh, some of the zoom settings aren't uh, perfect yet. This is just a little bit too close which is why we get this uh, particular view here. I need to, to back that out a little bit. Um, but the views are already set up for us, and we can tweak them uh, the way we need to by using uh, the commands that uh, EasyDoc has uh, for us. So let's say we want to um, change the uh, the view here, this first um, uh, cockpit view, uh, the pilot eyes, so to speak. Now, by default, uh, EasyDoc sets all these zooms up at, at 0.4, uh, and that's why you, we get that smooth transition. We can see... Uh, that it uh, moves smoothly between each of these camera views because all the zooms are exactly the same, 0.4. Now you'll see as we start creating camera views, if we start changing the zoom um, in uh, going in between these different views, it won't be quite as smooth. Uh, the smoothness uh, happens as a result of us having the exact same zoom set up. And um, uh, you'll see also that... Uh, We've got uh, this button here, this C, which is highlighted. And this is, uh, shows us that we can actually cycle through these views uh, with our uh, joystick, that button that I set up earlier on my joystick uh, as I'm you know, switching views. Um, I'm going only to the views that have the C selected. If I, if I uh, have a view selected and I uncheck this uh, C for a cycle, then it will skip that as I cycle through the various views. Um, but that's where I set up that button, so I don't have to... Uh, obviously, I'm not going to have this page up when I'm actually using uh, the program and flying around on my uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I, uh, I have a button set up for that uh, feature. So that's what I've done. Um, now, to actually get to the point where I'm adjusting the views and making it look better for uh, my system, what I want to do is um, I'll show you quick what it has us uh, able to do. Uh, this uh, edit mode uh, is the first uh, uh, mode that you want to become familiar with, and it's uh, selectable by uh, hitting the NUMP2 key. Uh, and that's where we need to be in so that we can actually start moving these cameras around. So uh, we can select a num2, and what, you, what we'll hear is just that little dinging in the background. That means uh, we're in the edit mode. Uh, once we're in the edit mode, we use these other keystrokes here, this up, down, left, right arrow keys, page up, page down, um, to uh, go up and down with the camera, left, right with the camera. And um, by default, uh, we can use our... our uh, uh, 
middle mouse button, our, our scroll reel, I should say, uh, and that will uh, change the zoom for us. So watch what happens here uh, when I go into um, uh, this uh, this edit mode. Uh, you can hear that uh, dinging is in the background. Now what what I'm doing is moving the mouse around. Um, I'm moving the mouse around, and that helps us change the view a little bit. And now uh, what I'll do is slide my uh, camera over by using the uh, left and right arrow keys. Uh, the forward and back arrow keys moves the camera forward and back. And then uh, to change the view, I'm going to use my mouse wheel, and I'm scrolling forward on my mouse wheel. Uh, on my mouse wheel, and you can see the uh, the zoom is changing. So let's say I just want to um, change the view a little bit. I'm, I use my mouse to kind of precisely a control where I want that camera to look and I've scrolled in a little bit and I can move it left right maybe centered up a little bit uh, and uh, once I come up with that view that I want and it looks normal to me I'm not touching any keys right now or moving the mouse I, I like the way it looks I press that num2 key again and you'll hear that that um, that dinging stops which means we're out of the edit mode and now this new view this new camera view is saved uh, this pilot eyes is going to be saved so when we start clicking uh, through the other views you can see that it's always going to go back to our newly uh, saved uh, view and because we've changed the zoom on it you'll see that that's where we get that kind of that jump that little bit of a hesitation everything is real smooth uh, when we go between views that have uh, the same zoom and then when we uh, go back to a view that has a different zoom, we kind of get that jump. So let's just uh, say, for example, we want to keep things smooth. We're going to have to set all of these different uh, uh, views to the same uh, zoom factor. So we're in radio stack. Let's press that num2 key. We're in edit mode again. We'll zoom in. And uh, this may not be exactly uh, where you want the camera, but uh, just as an example, let's say that this is going to work for you. I will go back out of the edit mode by pressing that num2 key again. So this uh, will s will show us that we've got that nice smooth uh, sliding uh, motion between the uh, the cameras now that we've got our zoom factor set to the same uh, number. And then of course as we go back to the different zoom factor, um, they're smooth. Uh, as long as uh, those zoom factors are the same, but then when we go back to uh, the the views that we've changed, uh, everything looks a little different. So that's where you get that that uh, hesitation. Um, so that's basically uh, how you set up uh, each of these um, different views. Uh, the same thing applies to uh, the um, exterior views. Um, you go ahead and uh, select which view you want. You press the num2 key. And uh, you can slide in or out using the arrow keys. And we'll slide out to the point where, um, you know, we don't get uh, that strange look, you know, uh, from the camera being too close. We can move it around. Uh, we can zoom in or zoom out. We can uh, move over to the left, move back a little bit, kind of make it look the way you want. Move or change the zoom so it's not quite as distorted, and then as you change the zoom, you may want to just move the camera back. So it's it's working with combination of of keystrokes. You're you're moving the mouse, you're you're changing the zoom with your uh, with your scroll wheel, and uh, of course you're moving the camera back and forth with your your cursor keys. And then, like I said, once you press num two, and that dinging goes away, uh, this view is now going to be saved. So that's the basics for uh, changing the camera view around a little bit. Um, uh, if you have uh, anything else that you want to do, uh, you can go into the uh, the documentation and kind of refer back to that uh, as far as changing these settings for the effects. Uh, generally, you can right-click on, on the effect and you'll get a, a new uh, pop-up box that uh, allows you to change some of the parameters uh, if you want to... Um, you know, completely get rid of a particular effect, uh, like when you're at the radio stack and you want to be able to, to press the keys if it's a little bumpy, you're kind of searching for it. You may want to get rid of that random effect, uh, and by default, this is gone. If I click on the button and this random effect is selected, of course, that's when we're uh, going to get that, that bouncing effect, and it may be a little bit uh, harder to, to uh, press a key or something. So uh, that's why when you've got uh, maybe a, an instrument panel view, you can get rid of that bounciness by, by deselecting uh, that particular effect. Um, and this this would be the same thing. If, if the gauges are a little bit too bouncy, we can just uh, take that effect away. Um, 
and uh, or change the effect by right clicking on it and getting that pop up box and we can change the parameters in this and that uh, but that is a little bit beyond the uh, the scope of this video hopefully i've uh, showed you enough that you can at least get started uh, with uh, moving the cameras around in a, and working with easy dock